would like to ask you about putting in the work. I get the point about doing the work that is right in front of you and not complaining in the meantime, grinding it out, they may say. For my work as a web developer, I need to focus while sitting behind my laptop. Of course, my mind can wander off every now and then, but whenever I really need to drag myself to do the work, I can't seem to focus. Other times, it's with ease to get into the flow, and that reassures me that I like to do this job overall. I already have several measures like websites and app blockers installed to prevent me from using those. However, I seem to lack the focus, and this is a problem. As something needs to show, as something needs to show on the screen at the end of the day. Got to get the work done, right? Any thoughts or comments on this issue? Unfortunately, I won't be at the call. Just to let you know. Uh, you shouldn't be looking for me. Okay, I already did. Good. Okay. So, Sven, I am going to recommend a book that I referred to during one of our lessons not too long ago. Read this book, The War of Art, The War of Art. And also, I would say read his other book, too, called Turning Pro, <laughs> and a third book called Do the Work. Read these books. Enjoy it. Take your time. Don't read them with angst. Read them with curiosity. It'll give you a perspective that's useful, especially Turning Pro, which I have downstairs. One of the things that he talks about is the difference between an amateur and a pro. And the difference is this, that an amateur does his work when he feels like doing it <laughs> and only when he feels like doing it. The pro, he sits down at the computer to do his work whether he feels like it or not. That's the difference between the two, right? If this is your work, right, this is your livelihood, this is what you got to do in order to get through the day, why don't you got to do it? Whether you feel like it or not, right? So you're not always going to feel good about it. It's not, and this is another one from St. John the Cross, and it relates heavily to everything that we've been talking about here today. You got to separate from your feelings of things. You got to separate your thoughts about a thing, the feeling about the thing, and what he refers to as resistance. That's the key in this book. He talks about resistance. The whole first chapter of the book, whole first half of the book is about resistance, resistance and self-doubt, resistance and criticism. Resistance and fundamentalism, resistance and unhappiness, resistance and the choice of a mate, resistance and self-medication, resistance and victimhood, resistance and trouble, resistance and self-drama, resistance and sex, resistance and procrastination. He's got two chapters on resistance and procrastination. Read that because resistance, he, he, he personifies it. He turns it into a demon, which I think it is. I remember the demons want to see you destroyed. They don't want to see you doing good. They don't want to see you winning. And they'll come in, they'll creep in and give you all kinds of reasons to resist. But you just sit down and you do the thing. Now, I've had the same problems. I'm not free from this. Two things uh, that I do that are helpful. One, work in chunks. And, and, and be honor, honor your chunks. Guys, you know, a lot of times we sit down and we just work till we, till, we're, till we sputter out. And that's exhaustive. Work in sprints. 30-minute sprint. Boom, 30-minute sprint, 10-minute break. I talk about this in the Massive Action Plan. Work breaks into your work, right? Even if you're like on a roll, 30 minutes, and that clock, that clock rings, 10-minute break. Take that break. You got to take that break. Go outside, go in the sun. If you're, you know, sounds like you're in one of the cold climate areas, go outside and just like do a, do a Wim Hof shiver. Get out there, like take your jacket off, get into the cold a little bit, suck in some of that cold air, walk around the block. You know, another thing you can do is treat yourself, right? Which, I mean, that break is kind of a treat, but a little bit of treat. Say, hey, look, once this 30 minutes is up, I'm going to get a, a cup of coffee. Next 30 minutes is up, I'm going to have a snack. Whatever it is. Next minute, 30 minutes is up, I'm going to scroll on Instagram. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Give yourself little treats, but you got to honor the time. You got you to set up clocks. 
little alarms. Set up the alarms. Get back to it. Before you know it, you're, you're through the end of the day. You got more work done than you ever had, had done before. And you beat resistance because you know that you're only going to work for a little while. It's only 30 minutes, bro. It's only 30 minutes. You get it? That's just a, you know, that's a strategy. Not a mindset. It's just a strategy. And I think that will help you, bro. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students, where among many things, we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. And if you want to join a like-minded group of men that get together every day, to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age, it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call. Done.